Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial showcase and review of this amazing free software called Space Desk, which allows you to make any computer into a wireless display for another computer. If you have a laptop that does not have a lot of displays, you can hook this tablet up or this computer up via Wi-Fi or the internet and extend the display. It's pretty cool and I'm going to show you how to set it up. First thing you gotta do is open up your web browser and you're gonna head on over to spacedesk.net forward slash download and you're going to click on where it says download now and then select your windows version now i'm running windows 8.164 bit so i'm going to select that download and then we're gonna wait for the msi to install it's only 2.9 megabytes so it should not take too long at all click on that once it's done click on next read through the terms of service i know everybody reads through these and click on the accept button click on next usually you just install programs the default location but you have another place of course do whatever you need here click on next and then it asks if you want to add an exception to the firewall and you basically have to because this software is tricking windows into thinking that this tablet right here is literally connected via the graphics card but has to have some really low level program execution Chris this program I've been using it for a while and I haven't seen any threats online I haven't seen any people with big red flags they all seem to recommend Space Desk. So I'm going to click on Next. And then you're going to click on Install. The Verify Publisher should be Dantic Soft Incorporated. So I'm going to accept that. Wait for it to install. ba dum ba 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 da and then we have completed the installation so let's click on finish and it looks like we need to restart our computer oh man i was installing this on windows 10 and you didn't have to restart it so it looks like it must be different for windows 8. Mm. css is awesome right guys mm. geez that's loud mm. so good mm. Mm. This mechanical hard drive is the slowest thing ever i think it is thicker and slower than molasses what is my name Oh gosh, no! You now you're giving out my email to the internet, Siri. That is not good. We are finally back in business. So now what we can do is click on the start button and we're going to search for the program Space Desk. And we don't actually have to execute this, but it's a good practice just to see some critical information to the setup. So it says Space Desk Server. We're going to click on that right there. On the network interfaces, you have your network interface card right here and your IP address. And this is what is really important. And what we really have have to look at is the third digit here the one in this case and that tells us what the default gateway is now on other computers that are connecting to this we need to make sure that the default gateway on them is the same one for this because if it isn't it's just gonna have a whole bunch of different wireless problems and the other important thing here is the computer name this is going to be the identifier when you connect to it on the mobile application so if you don't see that computer name then you're probably connecting to a neighbor's computer you know, that that's gonna be kind of weird and the other one right here, you don't really have to worry about this. This is just going to tell you what things that are coming in. So let's first go through how to set it up on HTML5. So all we need to do for this is we need to pop into a web browser. We need to go to spacedesk.ph backslash HTML5 viewer backslash. And it's going to bring you to a website like this where it has 192.168. Whatever you're going to enter in the IP address that you see of this computer. That's why it is so important. So I'm going to write in the five right there and as you can see it's doing all this reconfiguration on this box and on this box so you just gotta wait for it and then magically because you can see we have the windows desktop now and if i let's say move over discord as you can see, it is moving over to the tablet. And some things that I want to know, if you go up to the little charms at the top and then click on settings, you can change the image quality, color depth, the frame rate, the screen resolution. But I always recommend leave it as the default settings. Right now for B-roll, I was like changing it to be full settings. But I'm going to bump it all the way down to a little under half for the fast quality. Further to the left is worse quality, but better connection. And further to the right is better quality, but worse connection. The color 
color depth, I'm gonna bump that down to medium. Screen resolution, I'm going to keep the same, and I'm gonna change it to 30 frames per second just that it isn't trying to push all that bandwidth. And some problems that you might run into, you might not have a strong enough router to support all this data stream, so make sure you check the router that you do have and possibly upgrade. Also make sure that you're connected to a 5 gigahertz wireless connection. I am connected to my 5 gigahertz wireless connection. Maybe it isn't enabled, make sure to go into your router settings and have that enabled because that's going to give you the best experience also. If I connect right up here, in the screen resolution, there are two different devices. This is the space test monitor that is being tricked into thinking that it's an actual one. And I can change the position, but I can even make this a main display just like any other display connected to the PC. This is now my main computer display, and it is to the left. There you go, guys. So now let me actually show you how to do a mobile device here. And I'm going to pop right into the App Store, and I'm going to go to search and type in Space Desk. And then where it says Space Desk Remote Display, you're going to download that. And like I mentioned, it is absolutely completely free. I think that's the beauty of this application, because things like Duet Display do cost like $10, $20, $30. And that's kind of outrageous. So now once it's downloaded, click on Space Desk. And assuming that you are connected to the same router, you will actually already have the computer name and the IP address populate this connect to primary machine server. But in case you don't see that, if you click on the plus button right at the top right, you can actually enter in the IP address of the PC that you want to connect to. But we're just going to exit out of that. And I'm going to connect up to media box right here. And just as you'd expect, now you're already connected in. It is very fast to connect up. And on the mobile device, you can rotate it around and it'll change the aspect ratio. And one kind of problem about this is that it does do all this misconfiguration with your primary display. Now the way that the display works on mobile is that it's kind of like a relative touch, like at a cash register. So you have to drag your finger and that's like moving the mouse. It's really hard to, and I don't really know how to change it. So it is really frustrating to have to deal with this. But as you can see, I click and it reacts. And one thing that I want to note here, I am connecting all three displays here so I can move OBS to the iPad and then to the surface just like that so you can add i don't know how many displays all at the same time and it'll just be amazing and awesome and on the mobile you can pinch to get out and it'll tell you how long you were connected and if you click on the gear icon right here you can change basically anything else that you can change on the html browser or you can also turn it into a touchpad which is kind of weird it's like literally having a touchpad but it's your ipad and it's actually very surprising it's like in completely real time you know i would not be fooled if this was not a real touchpad. And finally, some other tips. If you do press and hold, that is how you right click. It is pretty fast. it can get really high quality but you know the higher the quality the more lag you get and it's really dependent upon you you know i can't say this is crap because it does not work well enough but you know in my experience i don't think my router is necessarily strong enough to push up a desirable amount of bandwidth to get it fast enough to be comfortable it is so blurry that it's kind of hard to use so i haven't really gotten too much of an application for this but i think when you're using it with like a tablet or something this is where it really shines so i can be controlling my OBS. I can be controlling whatever. Well, this is kind of like a stream deck, which I think is a really cool application. And especially for the price of three, this is something that I think that you guys should really check out. But it just isn't really that popular. And I think that it's something that if a lot more people knew about it, a lot more people would use it. The HTML5 here about Space Desk, I think is the biggest beauty about it because any single device can connect to it. This computer and this computer can both be extended together. Whereas before, like this computer has the limitation of only having three three physical displays so I can do so much more thanks to Space Desk. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and this review. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.